The California Gold Rush. The Mexicans own the California territory, and we wanted to own it to complete our country from coast to coast. So we had a long fight called the Mexican-American War that lasted from 1846 to 1848. Little do we know that the territory that we captured would have millions of ounces of gold. This is the story of the California Gold Rush and how it began by Trevor, Cole, and Zach. On January 24th, 1848, a guy named James Marshall, who lived in Northern California, had just finished constructing a sawmill. He started walking down the Sutter's Mill River when he suddenly found a shiny object. He told John Shutter, a man that specialized in special metals and a friend of James Marshall, about his discovery. So they went back and tested it, and it was gold. Word got around to other people, but they wanted to keep it quiet so no one would find out about it. After a while, rumors started to go around. Eventually, everyone found out about the gold. Once people found out about the discovery, people from all over, especially from China, America, and the Europeans, were coming to California. They were spreading into California in one of several different ways. A group of wagons, trains, and ships that were often cluttered, and horses full of people that were in search of gold, money, and new opportunities. Totaling 300,000 people, half of those people traveled by sea, and half traveled across land. The gold rush changed California because of the amount of people that came. California changed from a territory to a state instantly. San Francisco was a town, small town made up of 200 people that boomed into over 36,000 people due to the gold rush. There was people that thought this was a good idea, but others didn't think it was a good idea. All done? They thought people rushing in for gold would spend more money than they earned and would find there was not as much gold as they hoped. Most of the people that went were young and most were men. When the people got there, they made the land like a village that had things like houses, stores, and food. Most people that took the risk were very happy because there was a good amount of gold that was worth a lot of money. And most people made new homes and started a new life for their family. After five years they had been there, there was over 12 million ounces of gold found in the California Gold Rush. Over 100,000 people died from disease. 4,500 people got murdered because of conflicts on who got the gold. But after a while, people started to get frustrated because the gold was running out and they didn't have supplies to sell and trade to other people. So after all the gold was out, some of the people went home, but most stayed. Almost all the Chinese had to stay because they didn't have any type of transportation or didn't have enough money to get home. This relates to manifest destiny because the United States expanded after California became a state. Even with the, the gold rush's negatives, still a lot of people benefited. The California Gold Rush by Trevor, Cole, and Zach.